What up, YouTube? It's your boy Jay Tunes, and welcome back to another FIFA 22 Manchester United career mode, guys. In the last one, we started up the United career mode, and I asked you guys a couple of questions. We are making some moves. We ended up buying Kessier, and I did end up changing the formation. I asked you guys, we did get an offer for Paul from UV. If we go ahead and take a look here, uh, if we should go ahead and sell Paul, I've heard rumors that he's going to be leaving. You know, UV definitely want him back. Uh, also, Madrid possibilities. Don't know if he's actually going to stay. He has been playing a little bit better at the club. Um, and I think he would play better if formations would change at the club. Now, I asked you guys what we should do with the squad. I am thinking about a couple of different formations. I am thinking about playing the 4-3-3 holding. And also, somebody did mention trying out the... Actually, I can show you right now. The 4-4-1-1, which actually looks really, really good. Uh, excuse me, the 4-1-4-1 which looks nice because it drops those wingers down a little bit more giving us a little bit more coverage in that midfield so i have made some changes we are going to be trying the 4-3 defensive right now i feel like paul play better uh up higher on the pitch that dm role honestly not in my opinion the best role for him uh we'll also put uh bruno uh right next to him that way we can also be playing a lot more of danny um which honestly uh donny should be playing a lot more van Beek should uh, in my opinion be starting in this squad uh i definitely feel bad for him we do have scotty as well greenwood the young man with all the talent and honestly probably one of my favorite players right now um at united honestly and i hope he has a fantastic uh career greenwood does um but yeah that being said guys i did ask you should we sell him yes or no and a lot of you guys said no keep him for this season so what we are going to do we're going to try him before the window closes potentially could still sell him but we are going to try him a little bit higher up the pitch and see how I like him. See if he performs a little bit better for us. There is one player that I do actually want to get rid of. Um, and you guys said no to go ahead and keep a Maguire. So I'm going to compromise with you guys. I'm going to be going after a center back um, to play with in Maguire's position. And then we'll rotate in and out Maguire. Um, I think that's probably the best bet in my opinion. Uh, he is, and this has been since day one that he went to United. In my opinion, guys, I'm not a United fan, so don't get mad at me. This is just my opinion. I don't think he's actually a United type uh, a defender. Uh, you know, I have higher standards for United. Um, so, in my opinion, good center back, just not a United center back, okay? So, I am going to be going after a center back for sure. Don't know if that means that we're going to sell Maguire or if we're just going to have him in rotation, okay? That being said... Paul will be staying for this season and will make other moves. Guys, let me know who you want to see brought into the club um, because we do have the window, of course, going on here. And what is the player that you would love to see come to the squad? What we are going to do, though, I know people are telling me to convert Greenwood into a striker. I'm going to keep him here. I will be playing him at the striker position, but I'm going to be, you know, he's going to be taking that right mid position for Sancho every now and then, and things are going to be moved in rotation. So he will be playing in those different roles um honestly like he does right now for uh for for united so uh like this kid want him to develop i hope he has a lot of potential to develop in the game which hopefully um they they didn't mess up on him and uh and yeah he, he should that being said guys i also changed up some tactics we're on now um press after possession loss i upped the the depth a bit because we were being pushed in so much against our against our last uh you know against uh real and i i didn't like it at all i will say this though legendary is much harder than last year i went ahead and changed the the creations uh or chance creations to uh forward runs just because i feel like there was no real movement on the team up the width on attacking as well up a little bit more players inside the box and these are the rest of them that i did again guys brand new year that was the first game or the first time touching the game was in the last episode so still trying to get a feel for the game and stuff i also did change some things guys when it comes to captain in my opinion ronaldo will be the captain on the team uh, eventually and uh since i'm the manager i'm gonna go ahead and make ronaldo captain i just don't really care for mcguire at all it's just it is what it is you know what i'm saying i'm just being real with you guys please don't get upset about my opinions um again tell me which players to go after i have a awesome center back that i want to get to the squad and i think it would be incredible all right guys now that we've set everything up and we've done everything let's go ahead and jump into this game against bayern which were uh you know real madrid now bayern it's going to be very very tough don't forget substitutions we are going to make a lot of subs because in the last one 
let me go ahead and just say this right now guys i don't recommend anybody playing on constant pressure number one killed the team put everybody out of position and it just it was a mess right as you can see jesus uh byron just has a squad and a half don't they uh we are gonna go ahead and change some things up here guys uh and 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 get some subs going let me go ahead and fix those subs and i'll be right back all right guys for this match we are going to set up like this we're gonna go ahead and set bruno oh i also am going to start cavani maybe anthony martial as well i don't know i don't know if anthony martial if we should keep him or let him go guys i'm looking through the squad here and i know sandro can play the left side Greenwood can play the right side. We definitely have players that can rotate into that striker position. We have Ronaldo. We have Cavani. We have Greenwood. That left mid position for me is a little bit iffy. I don't know. You guys let me know down below. I'm thinking about maybe selling Martial and bringing in another left mid as well. So we would probably get another center back and also another left mid just as a backup right because if i you know rashford and sancho and greenwood start depleting i would like to have somebody else in rotation there so that could be a possibility and then yeah so left mid probably potentially as a backup and definitely going to get a center back that being said i think the team is really really set up good right now i just don't know about anthony martial should we keep him should we not again real life to fifa is a little bit different guys and I don't know if he's going to be that good. Again, I haven't played him. We'll start Cavani. Then we'll put in Martial. And of course, we want uh, Scotty, uh, too hotty here to, uh, to to grow as well. And we're going to sell some of these players. That like United just has such a huge squad here, don't they? We might have to dwindle this down a little bit, get some more money. And yeah, it's just too many players to keep happy in career mode. That being said, guys, against Bayern right now, we're going to be going with this squad here. Hopefully, Donny does well for us. Our right back does well for us, and Delas does right uh, does well for us. We'll have to see, all right? What I'm going to do for this, though, guys, is I'm going to sim because, again, this is the second time playing the game, and I want to see if things, what are different from last year to this year. I really like the fact that they brought back the the, um, the simming here uh, for this, and I'm glad they kept this. Let me know down below, guys. Do you guys quick sim, or do you guys do this simming process because i really really enjoy this guys we are in the white they are in the red and we definitely need ourselves uh a win we'll probably sim a little bit uh like half the game here and then we'll jump in and play the other half which when i go in we're probably gonna lose because legendary this year just seems a whole lot more difficult nope it's definitely it's definitely difficult even when you're simming um yeah we just already getting smashed there lindenloff allowing that goal to go in and i'm not happy about it um we'll see maybe we'll get back into or maybe they'll get back into this we're gonna go ahead and do this guys i do want to ask you one quick question let me know down below in those comments i know i'm throwing a lot of information at you real quick um but let me know down below i'm thinking about doing green screen for career mode uh it's hard to figure out where to actually place the 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 face cam so i'm thinking about putting a green screen let me know if green screen is a good idea or a bad idea um, if you guys like it or don't like it, I'm thinking about green screen for career mode only. So let me know down below. Either way, we're on. We're getting actually attacked like crazy here by Byron's to be expected. They put in two goals here. Nabry and Lewandowski. And we are not able to do much here. Um, I don't even know if we can come back from this, man. I don't know. Just Byron has an incredible, credible squad. I don't know if we can come back from this. We need Rashford to do something here for us. Tries to get it out wide. Gets it to Paul. Hey, come on, baby. Okay, Rashford with it. Crosses it in. Oh, my God. Cavani, baby. Was that Cavani? No, that was uh, Donny. Excuse me. Donny should have scored that. Takes a shot here again. Donny, two shots. No goals. And we're definitely having a problem here. Donny, we get it in. Oh, come on, boys. Take a shot. Score a goal, please. It's going to be so hard to come back from this. If we don't get a goal here, maybe I should have played the first half and then send the second half, honestly. Because now coming back from a two- Goal deficit is definitely going to be tough here in the second half for us. All right, guys. So that's going to be the half there. Possession, shots, two goals. Not, not happy. We are going to go ahead and sim just a little bit longer here and jump into this probably around the 50th minute. And then we'll, when we get in, we'll probably start doing a couple of substitutions as well to see if we can get back into this game. But two L's in this so far, is I'm not happy with at all. This is a good ball out here. Gets it back wide. Nowhere to really go. And it's just this the pressure of these teams are insane. Come on, come on. Do well there. Good cross in. And almost another goal there from Bayern Munich, man. Holy moly. All right, guys. We're going to go ahead 
and jump into this since we have some uh, some possession here. We got to see if we can score some goals. Finds pull. We got it out wide here. Cross coming in. Sancho! Goal kick. Not good. We're going to make some changes here, though. I'm going to go ahead. I haven't tried him. The problem here is, is Rashford is going down. Maybe I should bring in Cavani. Hmm. Thinking about maybe bringing in just for the pace up top, right? Pace up top could be a little bit better here with Martial. But Rashford's kind of hurting. What if we do something like this and just put Martial out wide? The one thing that I have noticed here is they're not really getting bad placements when they play double positions. Last year, if you they were a striker and they play left mid, they would lose... They would lose, um, like, the plus numbers that they get. And actually, that he's a striker playing left mid and we're not losing anything is actually pretty cool. All right, either way, let's go ahead and jump into this. We're going to try Martial out wide here, and we'll see where this takes us. Going to go ahead and take out Cavani for this. We need to get back into this game, and hopefully Rashford can get a couple of goals for us up top. That over the top there. Oh, my goodness. What a ball in. Coleman on it. Good cross. Get there, Teles. He does. Rashford coming all the way back. And that is going to be a throw-in for Bayern. Another corner here for Bayern Munich. Can we somehow stop it? Dani does well. Clear this. Kessier does. Anthony Martial. Paul tries to get it. Upamikanu is there. Sabitzer the her now. Watch, 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 watch the pass here. Kessier. Well done there. I'm going to go back to the keeper and just boot it. Well, I tried to boot it. Didn't really work. Lindenloff gets it out wide here. We find Anthony Martial. Can he take on the wing? He can. Dell is now. Donny. Oh, bad pass from Kessier, man. Oh, wow. Kimmich stepped in. And that's just a goal. Nothing I can do. Damn, that's crazy. That is actually nuts here. Good goal here. Bad pass in the midfield. Throws that out. I'm going to go ahead and bring in Scotty here, guys. But on is pretty much dead as well. Let's bring in Maguire to finish this off. We'll also bring in Scotty. And oof, don't know what to do here, honestly. I don't know what to do here. I can't seem to uh, find the spaces and the passes in the midfield aren't really helping us. Get it out to Martial. Start making the run, Rashford. Oh, he's through. Finesse from Rashford. Bangs it in, baby. Oh, I'm so upset that we're actually losing this game. That was a great pass into Rashford. Rashford scoring our first goal. We're going to end up losing two games here back to back. It's not. I'm not happy with it, but it's Bayern and Real, so it's not really that big of a deal. Well, it's kind of that big of a deal. Preseason, we needed that money, uh, but I don't know if we're going to be able to get it. You got it out to Martial. Ah, Sars there. Oh, my goodness. All right. Good game, boys. We come in the second half. I probably should have played the first half uh, and then allowed us to sim the second half. We were always going to be down. We got ourselves a goal with Rashford here. But like I said, guys, compared to last season, Legendary is almost as, as hard as Ultimate. Again, really haven't played too much. Don't really know the settings yet that I want to set for the squad. And it wasn't our main squad. So we'll see. Again, we are going to be making some moves here. Oh, we get our stuff back from Conrad. Dennis is... Oh, Dennis is nice. We get it also back from uh, Gomes as well. And then Matic transfer offer, which I actually want to go ahead and do. Again, not going to get rid of Paul this season, I don't think. You guys let me know down below. Should we get rid of him? Still debating. Um, So we can get anywhere from... We got Kessia now. We got Scotty. We can get... um. Oof. Leverkusen wants him. We can get 16. They're offering 14. Uh, I want to try to get the most money as possible. So we're going to go ahead and delegate this. And I want to do the 16. I think it was 16 flat. We'll do 16 too uh, for him. We're going to apply this. And then we're going to drop this down to, let's say, 18. Just to see what they say. Um, and hopefully we can go ahead and get rid of Matic. Because we already have Kessier. We have Scotty. And we might bring in some other player just as a rotation player for those two as well. 
All right, we also have Donnie that can that can play DM if we need him to. All right, let's go ahead and sim up to this game. What we are going to do before this game, guys, is... I, I need to change up this defense, man. I am not happy with this defense at all. And there is one player that I believe would be fantastic, and I can't believe he hasn't left uh, the club that he's at for the longest time. There is one center back that I truly, truly think uh, should be or should be in the Prem. Um, and I think that is uh, Marquinhos. I like him quite a bit, can play multiple positions. Center back, can play that CDM role. Uh, 27 years old, already 87 rated here. He's quick, he's strong. Uh, I definitely want to go after him. We could also go after Kempempe, but only an 83 rated uh, overall rated. Don't know how much potential he has. But again, Marquinhos is the player that I feel like I don't know why other clubs haven't chased him. Um, I feel like he's fantastic. He's only worth 106 million, it looks like. And it looks like we can offer from like 135 to 193, which 193 is the upside. I don't want to pay that much for Marquinhos, honestly. Uh, let me go see how much money we have. We definitely have quite a bit, if I am not mistaken here. Uh, we have 193 exactly uh, to play around with. So what I would like to do is definitely go after Marquinhos, guys, and he will be our starter, and then Maguire would be rotational for us. That's just how, uh, you know, I want to fix the team, want to fix that back line. And I think, honestly, having Marquinhos as well, that could potentially play that DM role if we need him to, would be a great match uh, for United. So I'm going to go ahead and approach to buy this. We're going to try to go in at like 135, most likely. Uh, the, the, the least amount that we can get, but maybe a sales clause. Maybe even a trade if possible. We'll see. We'll mess around with some things and we'll see what uh, they would like from us. And I'm going to try to get the best possible. Hopefully it's going to be easy like Hessier. We'll have to see. Either way, let's go ahead and jump into this, guys. We're going to go ahead and add an offer here. His value is 160. I want to try. You know what? I'm going to go in for the 130. They said 135. I'm going to go in for 136. 136.5. All right. We're going to apply this do this we're going to add a clause of about 13 percent and submit this offer and see what they say they're probably going to walk out honestly i'd walk out if i was the manager it's quite a lot there i'm going to counter this and do edit the clause we're going to up the clause to i'm going to up the clause now to 18 percent, right and then i want to Propose a new transfer fee. Edit this. And I want to drop this down. Let's drop this down to 148. Let's try this and just see what they say. Submit this offer. That's our price. We're sticking to it. We'll counter this. I mean, there's always. All right, let's try 15. On the close, propose a new transfer fee. And let's do 48. 48. With that, eh, I feel like it's a really, really good deal for Marquinhos personally. Honestly. Bro, they really fighting me on this, huh? That will leave us with 28 million to play with. But honestly, I feel like our team's in a really, really good spot. Plus, I need to get rid of some players as well. And if we get Marquinhos at 165. All right, let's propose one more time. One more time. Let's do 50. All right, let's do 50. 150 million. Five. All right, apply that. And then sales clause, let's do 10. Submit this offer. See what they say. See if they drop down just a little bit. Hopefully they don't walk. Oh, wow. We'll assess your offer and come back as soon with an answer. That kind of sucks, honestly. We'll see. Hopefully, we can get him, guys. If not, there also is Kempempe to go after, Koulibaly to go after, um, Joe Gomes I would like to go after as well, but I don't know how realistic it would be for him to actually go to, to United. So that's like, oof, that's like far away from the, the realism thing. You know what I'm saying? I don't think that would actually happen. So I don't know if I'll do that, but I really want Marquinhos, bro. Playing those those dual positions, center back and CDM would be fantastic for us. I love his work rates. Hopefully they say yes to this. But that being said, guys, while that is in, 
let's go ahead and jump in to the next match. We got to get a win. All right, we're going in with our main team here. Maguire is going to be starting. It's going to be our starters. Sancho's a little... Oh, no, no. You know what? I'm going to fix this a little bit. I'm going to fix this a little bit. I think I'm going to sit Sancho for a bit. Bring in Greenwood just to rest him. And then bring in Sancho. Yeah, I know. what I, We're going to bring in Sancho probably at halftime. Greenwood will stay there. Rashford will come out. That way, you know, the, we got to rest some players. We make sure they're not getting hurt. There are There is one other thing that I need to do. And I didn't do anything with instructions so i need to fix this so let me do that and i'll be right back changing up some of the instructions going with some of the ultimate team instructions cut inside get in behind on the wingers here i don't know if i want to have him cut inside he automatically goes like he automatically makes the runs. sancho makes the runs in this and this is sancho's spot um i do want him to get in behind and cut inside for us as well we do have kessie on stay back i put my wingers on stay back which i'll flick forward in game um, and that should be everything set up now with instructions we have in stay central, get in behind, and of course, stay forward on Ronaldo, right? So that's done, guys. We are good to go. I lied. I lied. I lied. No, no, we put Greenwood in. Uh, Greenwood's going to play for us here, and we're going to go ahead and jump into this match. It is on Legendary, and we'll see if maybe we can get ourselves some goals here, man. I need to start scoring some goals. Going up in our first match against Real Madrid and Bayern was not the best experience. We need some wins. All right, boys, here it is. Kick off and hopefully a win. Please give us a win. <laughs> Please give us the win. Hopefully the team plays well for us. Oh, well, a uh, bad pass there from our opponents. Trying to find Ronaldo. No space there to shoot. Ronaldo making that run. We find him. Try to hold the play. We got Greenwood. All right, here we go. Cross it back post to Rashford. Uh, not enough power on that from Greenwood. Well done here from Kessier. Oh, we got Greenwood in. Greenwood! Bang, baby! The young man does it. Golasso for United. Oh, let's go, bro. Oh, you got some moves, bro. You got some moves. The young man has some moves. I cannot break this down. I want, I'm trying to find a space to actually shoot. Let's check out the finesse shot. And that should be a goal. Nah, bro. That was definitely... That was not a goal kick at all. What's going on here? Ronaldo. We got Bruno. We got Paul. Back into Ronaldo. Rashford. Back post. Aye, back post. Greenwood. All by himself. Back into Paul. Paul with the shot. Oh, wee. Can we find Ronaldo's big old dome? Unlucky. Ronaldo, Oi. Uh, almost, almost scored himself a header. Bruno, bangs it. Oh, that would have been a nice goal. That would have been a fantastic goal. Through ball into Ronaldo. Through ball of dreams here. If he can't finish here, we got to sell him and he puts it away. Ronaldo, I think that might be his first goal. Honestly, I think that's our first goal for him. Uh, he scores. He scores, he scores, he scores, guys. I feel a little bit more comfortable now. Up by two here. But Jesus, it's tough to get these goals in. Rashford? Oh my God, Bruno with the bad pass. Ronaldo's in again. Ronaldo's in again. Ronaldo's in again. United up by three. <laughs> <laughs> oh man all right guys we're gonna make a quick change here kessie has been playing fantastic for us uh no doubt about that i do want to try to play a little bit more donnie and i need to play scotty as well but kessie is doing so well for us um yeah kessie is doing so well for us but we're gonna bring on donnie here again can play all these different roles for us we definitely want him to grow and i hope he has the potential in fifa 22 um Everybody else has been playing well. I kind of want to bring in Sancho. Rashford's been incredible, but I'm going to go ahead and bring in Sancho. I'm going to go ahead and play, uh, bring in Sancho just to get him going a bit. You know what I mean? We are up by three goals here. No need to uh, to hurt anybody on the team. And we want to get players into shape and get their confidence up and get my confidence up because I'm not going to lie. Those first two games were definitely very, very difficult. 
We got Bruno, first time. Oh, bang, boys. Bang, bang, bang. The Portuguese men working together there. Great pass there from Bruno into Ronaldo, and then that great little uh, tap. Just a little tap in on the pass there. An easy shot for him. Very nice there. Boom, boom, boom. Easy, boys. United back on top. I hope so. <laughs> United back on top. Donnie. And that is going to be the end of the game here. Played really, really well against uh, an opponent's uh, squad that isn't as strong as the other two. But at least getting some type of feel for the team and how they can perform uh, as well. Donnie did well for us. Paul... I don't know. Mm, I still don't know. I don't know who I like more. Donnie's going to play a lot more for us. He is hopefully going to be the future here. And I, and I hope in real life he starts playing. I feel really, really bad for the kid. Um, but that being said, guys, I'm really, really happy with this result here. We get the three points that we need. Of course, not looking good. The league is about to start here. And offer is unacceptable, which sucks. Can we negotiate one more time? Let's negotiate one more time here. Let's go in for negotiation, guys. I really want to bring in Marquinhos, man. Again, a player that can play those multiple different positions, I think would be fantastic here. I'm trying to save some money because I am thinking about going for another backup left mid um, or left wing. But we'll see what we could do here. They're really trying to hold out on this. So propose. I want to do I want to do 50. To be fair, I want to do 40. So I'm going to apply this and I'm going to see there are some players I want to get rid of and I want to see if they would be willing to get rid of a play or been willing to take a player here. So let's apply this. Actually, what if we do? Yeah, 140. Apply for a second here. Let's submit this offer. Let's do a player swap. Let's go with a center back. Eric Bailly, I think I want to get rid of anyway. If we end up keeping Maguire, we'll have Lindenloff. Eric Bailly will go. So if I offer 140 and Eric Bailly, I think his value is about 135 for Marquinhos. And then I also... Ooh, I cannot... I think a center back exchange, Eric Bailly. We get Marquinhos and we give them 140. I feel like it's a good deal. We probably could get more for Eric Bailly. But I don't think I'm going to be playing Eric Bailly. The fact that you guys want me to keep Maguire. So I think this is a smarter move for us. I would like a sales clause. But we'll see what they say here. Um, so they don't want a player. But they'll take 159. It's already dropped down so much from 167. 159 for Marquinhos. who's 27 years old. Can play multiple positions. I'm going to go ahead and accept this. And they don't even want Eric Bailly, meaning that we could still sell Eric Bailly and make money there as well with 5%. I'm going to go ahead and accept. I feel like that's that's a that's a fair deal. Um, A little bit, you know, more than I wanted to pay. I wanted to get him for about 140, 135. But again, I think his value was 193, right? So let's go ahead and hopefully we can bring him in. Let's go ahead and negotiate his wages here, guys. And again, having a player that can also play that DM role and having these, like we have a lot of players here at United that can play multiple roles. And I like those type of players where I can move them around, move the pieces around the way I want, depending on the match that we are playing. Marquinhos is here, guys. Your current, uh, I, I don't understand why they're showing me the phone. Um, you are going to be crucial to us. You are going to be crucial to us because if I'm not mistaken, McGuire is important crucial and we'll just rotate mcguire honestly um he is going to be playing we want him for four years if possible he's making 160 right now which is quite a bit we're looking to continue no release clause i accept that i don't really care for release clauses at all and now it's the contract so they want it 155 why is counter this um Actually, bro, signing bonus and then three million. No, no, let's counter. Let's remove bonuses. I'd rather pay more wages. Submit this offer and see what they say. I don't like the appearances because he's going to get those 20 appearances easily. Um, it's going to up his wages to 180 and honestly deserved. Um, I accept this. I, I'm going to accept this. I like this. I don't like, like the appearances or goals or things like this. I like this deal a little bit more on wages, but in the end... I feel like I still save money. So 
That being said, guys, Marquinhos has made it to United. All right, guys, so I went, over, I went ahead and put a lot of players up on loan and on sale. I'm thinking about selling some of these goalkeepers, to be fair. There's no point in having Heaton, Grant. I know they've been around a long time, but I just need to. I need Henderson, and I need De Gea. That's it. It's career mode. You know what I mean? No need to have extra stuff. So I went ahead, worked on developing, guys. We took care of uh, putting uh, young players and players that I'm not going to be using too much up for loan or either for sale. I am loving the squad right now. Varane, Marquinhos, uh, Luke Shaw starters, Aaron as a starter, Kessier, Paul, uh, uh, Bruno Fernandes. We got Ronaldo, Sancho, and Rashford, of course. Greenwood playing a lot for us as well. So very, very happy with the team. I know I'm repeating myself here, guys, but what left wing would you like to see come? Should we get rid of some more of these other players, the Maguires and all this stuff that we've talked about? Let me know down below. And I kind of like this formation, but we might also try the 4-1-4-1 as well. A lot to still to learn when it comes to FIFA 22, gameplay-wise, and also uh, potentials on players and all that good stuff. But either way, I'm having a whole lot of fun with this, and we'll see where this career mode takes us. Hopefully, you guys enjoyed, man. If you guys are new to uh, the YouTube, make sure to drop a like, uh, subscribe, and hopefully, I will catch you guys in the next one. Deuces, baby. Oh, 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 oh,